We're here live on the red carpet at the David Foster Gala 2022. After a two-year hiatus, the star Studded Gala is back in support of the David Foster Foundation. Let's go inside. So after a two-year hiatus, the David Foster Gala is back. How does it feel to be back and live? Well, isn't it great? I mean, you just look around and you hear everyone talking and everyone's excited to be here. Two years is a long time not to be together and to be coming back together to see a red carpet. I mean, it's amazing. It's exciting. And we are excited to actually put this on. We've been waiting two years for this. So have we. And, you know, it's tonight's event is Broadway inspired. So why, why Broadway? Why was that something you guys wanted? Well, you know, it, it kind of started with um, I thought about Kat being on Broadway. Uh, Lauren Allred was, of course, the voice in Never Enough from, from The Greatest Showman. And there were a couple other things we were looking at. And um, I thought of, you know, David's, um, David's managers from New York. And there's so many great things in Broadway. And then David was going to, David's next hopeful move is Broadway with Betty Boop. And um, so I kind of thought, well, why wouldn't we pull this all together? Because we've never brought that to Toronto before. So bringing a little New York and a little Broadway here, can't beat that. David Foster, Catherine McPhee, they're all going to be walking the red carpet. Who else can we expect tonight gracing the carpet? Other than you, of course. Well, you know, there's some, some great people. Leslie Odom Jr., we uh, from Hamilton, the lead in Hamilton. Lauren Allred herself will be here. Um, we have um, uh, Lindsay Voss. Um, we have, or sorry, Jessica Voss. We have, um, oh, I mean, you know, Catherine McPhee, of course, from Waitress. Um, you know, there's there's so many, and and there's some surprises too. So, and you know, tonight's event is about giving back to the community and for the David Foster Foundation. Let's talk about that. Well, you know, that's the most important reason why we're here because, you know, it's all about raising money and raising awareness for a cause that is so near and dear to my heart and to David's heart. You know, it's over 35 years that we've we've been doing this, and I've been with David for just over 30 years. So, you know. We're here to raise money to support families, and that's really what it is. We provide financial assistance to families of children that require major organ transplants for all their non-medical expenses. If it wasn't for these generous donors, and we hope that we'll be very generous tonight, these families would be ending in bankruptcy or divorce because 85% of families end in bankruptcy or divorce if we don't step in. It's critical that we're here for them. Thank you so much. that having a young child made your work with the David Foster Gala that much more impactful. So let's talk about the family. Well, you know, I, I have my children are grown now, my other children. So back when they were little, of course, it had that impact on me, that immediate impact. And then you sort of lose that as they become adults. You don't think about it quite as much. But now seeing these parents and us being new parents again, um, it just brings it all home. And it's just, God forbid, I mean, it's the worst news you could ever get that something's wrong with your child. So we love at the foundation that we are that bright light, the one bright light in their worst day. And you know, it's it brought home by our young son. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I'm a first time mom. So for me, it's just the feeling of something ever possibly going wrong is just a horrifying thought. So really grateful for our, our health. And how does it feel like seeing these families that you're helping and knowing that the work you're doing is making it? It's just a great feeling. I mean, I, I can't explain it. My mother was the one years ago that got me into this. She said, you need to go see that girl. She's sick and you need to help her. And God, thank God she did because that a light went off in my head and I went, yeah, I need to help. And now here we are. And I'm really, I'm in it to win it. I'm not just a, a name on the thing. I mean, there's many people that help, not just me, but uh, I'm in it to win it. Tell us a little bit about your story. Uh, so we're a, um, a David Foster family because my daughter Bella is waiting for a bowel transplant. Um, so she's eight years old now and she has been in hospital since birth over 850 days with three rare diagnoses. So we've spent a lot of time in hospital, especially at sick kids, and we've been waiting um, two years now for a bowel transplant for her. Yeah. 
How has the David Foster Foundation helped you? They have been amazing in that any travel, um, any accommodations we need, um, and ability to get to the children's hospitals that we need to get to, as we're from Saskatchewan, Canada, and um, so they help us out with that in a very generous, amazing way, um, anytime we need for her medical needs. And how would you encourage our viewers to donate organs and, you know, give back? Please, please consider uh, following the David Foster Foundation and, and talking about organ donation and understanding what it means for the donor families as well as the donor um, recipient families. It would mean, mean the world. What are you guys most looking forward to today? We, you know, we, we luckily got a chance to speak with David Foster and Catherine last night, which was absolutely amazing. And now to see them actually perform and all of their friends and all the talent will be an absolute delight. We've never been to any sort of event like this and we're just very starstruck. <laughs> Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Bella Thompson on Global Night. Jim, so nice to see you again. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Look at this. It's a great crowd tonight. We're back out. We're outside. Nice to be seen again. How are you feeling tonight? What are you excited about? There's a lot going on. I'm excited about raising a bunch of money for our kids. That's what the, this whole purpose is. It's not us. It's the kids. And you know, look at the little, kid, little guys that need help and families that need help at a very, very tough time. When they were going through all these tough times, they need something more than just somebody saying oh I'm sorry for you we want to help and we've been helping families for a long time and the thing about you is every time I see you you're at a charity gala giving back and and that's amazing so how would you encourage our viewers to give back and even become an organ donor well I think the giving back is in our blood you know your parents give back when they had you when the parents when, and, and I think it's all about giving back you can't take away I had a favorite thing my dad told me a way to he said, you're doing really well. Remember, you, there's no Brinks truck following you to the graveyard. So you, you have it for its, its on borrowed time. So give it back and, and do it with things you can do to help people. It was a good lesson for me. Absolutely. And you know, my show is about inspiration and inspiring my audience. What do you think the key to your success has been as an entrepreneur? Because you've been very successful and had a long career. Well, you know, hard work is a big piece of it being dedicated to what you're going to do and try. And one word you don't use, can't. We, you can do anything you want. And when people say, well, I don't think you'll be able to do that. And you want to do it, you go and do it. Don't, don't let anybody slow you down. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Leslie, this event is Broadway inspired. So what's been your most memorable Broadway moment for you? Mm, my most memorable Broadway moment. I just saw a strange loop on Broadway. That was pretty memorable. I think, uh, you know, any moment that I go uh, buy a ticket to sit in, a, in the audience of a Broadway theater and I see somebody open their heart and um, say something in a new way. You know, uh, it's, it's, those are the memorable moments. That's what keeps me coming back. So it's such an exciting evening. What are you most looking forward to? What am I most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to the amount of money that we raise. I think that's going to be the exciting part of the night. Uh, uh, I think as Broadway folks, we're here for, for filler until we count the dollars. Um, it's, it's, you know, listen, it's incredible music uh, in the hands of one of the greatest music directors of all time. Um, uh, but we have a lot of my dear friends from Broadway here tonight, Leslie Odom and Jessica Vosk and Catherine McPhee, who I've had the pleasure of uh, uh, performing with on stage on Broadway. So, it's, you know, it's, it's good old friends and great music for a great cause. Tonight's Broadway inspired. What's your most memorable Broadway moment? My most memorable Broadway moment was I think when I made my Broadway debut and I walked on stage and the curtain went up for the first time and there were 1,500 people applauding. 
and uh, uh, that feeling stays with you forever. Um, uh, I, you know, it, it was, it's the only moment that beats when I saw a Broadway show for the first time and the curtain went up and I was in the audience. Both of those experiences are pretty hard to beat. There's nothing like seeing a Broadway show. And you know, tonight's event is about giving back, so tell us more about the importance of giving back for you. I think all artists have an obligation to tell stories and spread the word. Um, and I think uh, artists can give a voice to uh, those who, who don't have that voice. Um, and I think for whatever reason, the camera is on us and uh, we have an obligation while the camera is on us to stand for something. Um, and uh, that's why all of us are here tonight. Enjoy your night. You can fly higher than the